Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where we dive deep into the stories that shaped our world. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we're on a journey through the life of Pompey Factor, a hero whose bravery outshines the obscurity of his beginnings. Before we jump into his story be sure to like and subscribe. Let's delve into the roots of Pompey Factor's early life, born into the confines of slavery in Arkansas around the 1840s. The world he entered was one of hardship and resilience, a testament to the strength of those who lived through the era of slavery in the United States. Indeed Marco, records from this period are scarce, especially when it comes to the enslaved. Family histories were often fragmented or lost due to the cruel separations and transactions that define slavery. Yet, amidst this backdrop of adversity, Pompey's story begins. His name, Pompey, a common name given by slaveholders, hints at the practice of naming enslaved individuals after figures from ancient history or mythology. This detail, while small, offers a glimpse into the cultural fabric of the time. It's fascinating Marco. And though the specifics of his family, his parents and any siblings remain largely unknown, we can infer that his upbringing was marked by the same struggle, community, and hope that characterized the lives of many enslaved African Americans. Exactly Chuck. The resilience ingrained in Pompey from his early years likely played a crucial role in his later life. Growing up in such an environment, where freedom was a distant dream, shaped his desires and decisions profoundly. It was a foundation built not just on survival, but on the aspiration for something more, something better. That aspiration led Pompey to make choices that would eventually carve his path into history. Despite the shadows of slavery, his early life was the beginning of a journey towards bravery, freedom, and recognition. A journey that reminds us of the strength and courage that can emerge from the most challenging of circumstances. Pompey Factor's early years, shrouded in the darkness of slavery were but the first chapter in a remarkable story of resilience and heroism. Diving into Pompey Factor's military life offers a fascinating glimpse into his transformation from an enslaved individual to a celebrated hero. His decision to join the military, specifically the Seminole Negro Indian Scouts, was a pivotal moment in his life, propelled by the twin engines of necessity and the pursuit of freedom. The Seminole Negro Indian Scouts were a unique unit Chuck comprised of black Seminoles who were the descendants of African Americans who had escaped slavery, and found refuge among the Seminole Indians in Florida, they were relocated to the Indian Territory, and later, some moved to Mexico and then to Texas. For Pompey, joining this unit was not just about fighting, it was about aligning with a group that had a shared history of struggle and resistance against oppression. That's an important context Marco. The scouts were renowned for their tracking skills, bravery, and effectiveness in the harsh conditions of the Texas frontier. Pompey enlisted in 1870, stepping into a role that required not just physical prowess but a deep resilience and tactical acumen. The scouts were instrumental in patrols and engagements against Native American tribes, tasked with protecting settlers and maintaining peace in a volatile region. And Pompey excelled in this environment. His bravery was not just about engaging in combat. It was about navigating the complexities of a frontier where allegiances were fluid, and survival was never guaranteed. The scouts faced immense dangers, from harsh terrain to the very real threats of ambushes and direct confrontations with Native American warriors. Pompey Factor's act of valor at Eagle's Nest Crossing stands as a defining moment in his life and military career. This engagement wasn't just another skirmish on the frontier. It was a moment that would etch his name into history and earn him the nation's highest military honor, the Medal of Honor. Absolutely Marco. The events of April 25, 1875, unfolded on the banks of the Pecos River, where Pompey and three other Seminole Negro Indian scouts engaged a band of Kickapoo warriors. This wasn't merely a battle, it was a strategic engagement that required quick thinking, exceptional bravery, and a profound commitment to their mission. The Kickapoo, known for their fierce resistance to settler encroachment, were formidable opponents. The scouts, though outnumbered, leveraged their unparalleled knowledge of the terrain, their tracking skills, and their combat prowess in a confrontation that was both sudden and intense. It's worth noting the sheer audacity and tactical acumen displayed by Pompey and his fellow scouts. 
they initiated a daring attack on the Kickapoo, navigating the complexities of the battlefield with a blend of stealth and aggression. Their actions not only thwarted the Kickapoo warriors but also protected the frontier settlements from potential raids. Pompey's role was crucial. Amidst the chaos of battle, his courage and sharpshooting played a key role in the victory. It was his actions, alongside those of his fellow scouts, that turned the tide, showcasing not just the valor but the vital importance of the Seminole Negro Indian scouts in the defense of the Texas frontier. And for his bravery, Pompey was awarded the Medal of Honor. This wasn't just any decoration, it was a recognition of his heroism under fire, his leadership, and his unwavering commitment to his comrades and mission. The medal citation highlights his gallantry in action, words that barely encapsulate the depth of his courage. This honor was significant not just for Pompey, but for all African-American soldiers and scouts of the era, who fought with valor yet often remained unsung heroes in the annals of history. Pompey's Medal of Honor serves as a testament to their contributions, and a reminder of the complexity and diversity of the American frontier's military history. Pompey Factor's receipt of the Medal of Honor is a narrative of overcoming adversity, of bravery against the odds, and of the recognition of African-American contributions to the nation's military history. It's a story that inspires and challenges us, highlighting the extraordinary deeds of an individual who despite emerging from the shadows of slavery, rose to become a hero in the truest sense. His medal is not just a piece of metal, it's a symbol of honor, sacrifice and the enduring legacy of a man who in the face of danger, stood tall and fought not just for survival, but for principles that extend far beyond the battlefield. However, there's a poignant twist in the tale of Pompey Factor that underscores the complexity of his life and the era he lived in. After his heroic actions and the recognition he received, Pompey faced a deeply troubling period that led him to go AWOL, absent without leave, from the army. That's right Marco. This chapter of Pompey's life is often overshadowed by his valor in battle. The murder of fellow Medal of Honor recipients, his comrades, shook the very foundation of his world. These events were not just personal losses but a stark reminder of the precarious position African-American soldiers held in society, even those as decorated as Pompey. In the aftermath, seeking safety and perhaps a respite from the turmoil that had engulfed his life, Pompey fled to Mexico. This decision was fraught with risk, but it speaks volumes about the dire circumstances he found himself in. Life in Mexico offered a temporary sanctuary from the racial tensions and violence that had marred his return to civilian life. However, Pompey's story didn't end there. After some time, as local tensions eased and perhaps with a longing to return to a semblance of normalcy, Pompey made the bold decision to rejoin the army. This act of returning, despite the potential consequences of going AWOL, demonstrates Pompey's deep commitment to service and perhaps his belief in redemption and reconciliation. Rejoining the army, Pompey once again dedicated himself to the service of his country, a testament to his resilience and unwavering spirit. This period of his life, marked by adversity, escape, and return, adds a profound layer to his legacy. It highlights the complexities faced by African-American soldiers, their struggles for respect and dignity and their extraordinary contributions to the nation's history. Pompey Factor's journey, with its highs and lows, its moments of bravery and periods of strife, reflects the broader narrative of African-American military service in the post-Civil War era. His story is a reminder of the personal battles fought beyond the battlefield, the search for safety and justice, and the enduring strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. As we remember Pompey Factor, we honor not just his military achievements, but his entire life's journey, a journey marked by courage, hardship, and ultimately, a relentless pursuit of a better, more peaceful life. Pompey's military life is a narrative of courage, skill, and transformation. From the shadows of slavery to the battlefields of Texas, he demonstrated time and again that bravery knows no bounds. His service with the Scouts was more than a chapter in his life, it was a legacy of resilience and heroism that continues to inspire. It's a powerful reminder Chuck, of how individuals like Pompey Factor, faced with unimaginable challenges, can rise to become heroes in the truest sense of the word. His military service is a testament to his strength, his dedication, and his unyielding pursuit of freedom and respect. After his military service, Pompey Factor's life took a quieter, yet no less significant turn. Transitioning from the life of a scout and a soldier to that of a civilian, Pompey embarked on a new journey, 
one that would see him apply the resilience and determination he had shown in battle to the challenges of everyday life. Indeed Chuck. Settling down in Brackettville, Texas, a town near Fort Clark where the Seminole Negro Indian scouts were based, Pompey began to cultivate a life far removed from the gunfire and skirmishes of his past. He turned to farming, a profession that demanded not only physical strength, but a deep connection to the land, and a patience he had honed over years of tracking and scouting. Farming in the late 19th century was no easy feat, especially for a black man in the post-Civil War South. Yet, Pompey's approach to life on the farm was imbued with the same perseverance and courage that characterized his military service. He worked tirelessly, navigating the complexities of agriculture and livestock, and contributing to the community that had become his home. Beyond the fields, Pompey's life was marked by the relationships he built and the family he started. He married and had children, creating a legacy not just of valor, but of love, community, and family. These personal achievements, though less heralded than his military exploits, were equally a testament to his character and the life he chose to lead after the war. It's fascinating Marco, how Pompey's post-military life reflects a broader narrative of African-American soldiers and scouts who, after serving their country sought to establish peaceful, productive lives despite the era's pervasive discrimination and social obstacles. Pompey's journey from soldier to farmer and family man illustrates a remarkable adaptability and an enduring spirit of hope. Absolutely Chuck. Pompey factors contributions to his community and his ability to transition from a life of armed service to one of peaceful productivity is a story of resilience and reinvention. It speaks volumes about the man he was, not just a hero in battle but a pillar in his community, a devoted husband, and a loving father. His death in 1928 marked the end of a remarkable journey, but the legacy of Pompey Factor lives on. Not just in the Medal of Honor that recognized his bravery, but in the generations that followed him, the community he helped build and the stories of resilience, courage, and transformation that continue to inspire. Pompey Factor's life beyond the battlefield is a compelling chapter in his story, a testament to his multifaceted legacy. It's a reminder that the true measure of a man is not only in how he faces adversity, but in how he builds peace, fosters love, and cultivates life in its aftermath. As we reflect on Pompey Factor's life, it's clear that his legacy extends far beyond the accolades and acknowledgements he received. His story is a beacon of resilience, bravery, and transformation, illuminating the broader narrative of African-American soldiers and scouts who played pivotal roles in shaping the American frontier. Indeed Marco Pompey's journey from the shackles of slavery to the highest military honor in the land is not just a personal triumph but a chapter in the larger story of struggle, courage, and perseverance that defines much of African-American history. His Medal of Honor symbolizes not only his gallantry but also the contributions of countless other African Americans who fought for a country that did not always recognize their humanity or their rights. Beyond the battlefield and his military achievements, Pompey's impact is felt in the way he lived his life after his service. In an era marked by racial segregation and discrimination, Pompey carved out a space for himself and his family, contributing to his community and setting an example of dignity and resilience. His transition from soldier to farmer and family man speaks volumes about his character and his dedication to creating a life of purpose and meaning. His legacy is also a testament to the power of recognition and remembrance. While Pompey Factor's name may not be as widely recognized as some historical figures, efforts to honor his memory and that of other Seminole Negro Indian scouts have brought deserved attention to their roles in American history. Monuments, historical markers, and continued research into their lives and contributions ensure that their stories are not forgotten but celebrated as integral parts of our collective heritage. And let's not forget the educational impact. Pompey's life story, particularly his valor and the recognition he received, serves as a powerful tool for educating future generations about the complexities of history, the realities of racial dynamics, and the undeniable contributions of African Americans to the nation's development. His narrative encourages a deeper understanding and appreciation of the multifaceted nature of American history, and the individuals who have shaped it. Absolutely Marco. Pompey Factor's legacy challenges us to recognize the contributions of all soldiers, regardless of race or background, and to honor their sacrifices and achievements. It inspires us to continue exploring and acknowledging the rich tapestry of stories that have shaped our nation, 
ensuring that heroes like Pompey are remembered not just in the annals of military history but as pivotal figures in the story of America itself. In the end, Pompey Factor's enduring legacy is a reminder of the strength of the human spirit and the profound impact one individual can have on the course of history. His life and achievements continue to inspire, educate, and resonate, leaving an indelible mark on our understanding of courage and sacrifice. As we bring today's episode on Pompey Factor to a close, we're reminded of the incredible journey and lasting legacy of a man who, against all odds became a hero in every sense of the word. It's stories like Pompey's that inspire us to look deeper into history to uncover the narratives of those who have shaped our world in immeasurable ways. And it's through sharing these stories that we keep the memory of such remarkable individuals alive. That's why we're reaching out to you, our listeners. If you've been moved, educated, or inspired by today's episode, we ask you to like, rate, subscribe, and share the History AI podcast. Your support helps us grow and allows us to bring more of these evergreen stories to light, stories that remain relevant, informative, and inspiring, no matter when you listen. Every episode we create is designed to be evergreen, providing insights and inspiration that stand the test of time, just like the legacy of Pompeii Factor. By liking, subscribing, sharing and giving the podcast a five-star review, you're not just supporting us. You're helping to ensure that these important stories reach a wider audience, educating and inspiring others along the way. And for those who can't get enough of the History AI podcast, we've got merchandise available. Check the link in the show notes. And as a thank you to our listeners, we're offering a 10% discount on your first purchase. Just use the code the History AI podcast, all one word, at checkout. So, don't forget to engage with us on social media leave a review wherever you get your podcasts, and spread the word. Together, we can continue to explore the depths of history, uncovering the lessons and legacies that define our shared humanity. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. Remember, every episode of the History AI podcast is a chance to dive into the stories of the past that continue to influence us today. Your support ensures these stories, like Pompeii Factors, are never forgotten but continue to inspire generations to come. Until next time, I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Thanks for listening, and remember, history is not just about the past, it's a light that guides us into the future. Looking for the perfect way to show appreciation for the incredible mom in your life? Discover Exhausted Moms. A Coloring Journey to Relaxation and Humor, the coloring book that speaks directly to the heart of motherhood. Gift her an escape into pages of laughter, empowerment, and moments of tranquility. With Exhausted Moms, she'll find a blend of whimsical illustrations and inspiring quotes that celebrate her daily triumphs and challenges. Crafted with love from images I created for the mother of my children, each page offers a space for creativity and relaxation, a reminder that she's doing an amazing job, even on the toughest days. Give the gift of laughter, peace, and recognition. Exhausted Moms isn't just a coloring book, it's a hug, a nod of understanding, and a token of appreciation for everything she does. Surprise her with Exhausted Moms today and watch her face light up with joy. Because every mom deserves a moment to herself, wrapped in the colors of love and support.